Oh! Boom! Double kill! We have a double kill. Mission success. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! We got him! We got him! Yes! Kill! We got him! We killed that Kepri. I have brought the Doc Holiday robot back from the dead. The original four medium robot. We have double Havoc, double Mace. So kind of a shotgun hybrid build. And I haven't used this build in so long. And I'm sure most of you have not. We only have one passive module slot, but we have a nuke amp. And look, so our pilot skill is loaded up. The true cowboy skill. When we change our weapon mode we have an increased damage for 10 seconds which is about six and a half percent it's not a huge deal but it is something so when we swap weapons we get increased damage let's take this dock into champion league and see how this works out with a mark three dock here we go doc holiday robot beacon rush let's do it okay we're here on abyss and we're gonna drop the shell bot first just because i want to get abyss is a bit more of an open map so i want to get uh, the dock dropped out of an actual beacon and not just from our home spot. Also, guys, consider subscribing if you have not already. Because we actually have a giveaway coming up really soon. I'm going to announce it either tomorrow or the next day. So, make sure you tune in for that. Okay, let's grab this beacon. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. I'm actually kind of nervous to use this dock robot. I used the butch a couple months back and it actually wasn't bad. But the dock is like a whole nother robot. Two, two medium. Uh-oh. Weapons swapping with two mediums. Okay, we're gonna get past here. Okay, are they not gonna stop me? They're not gonna stop me. All right, cheese niblets, corn niblets. Uh oh. Are we gonna get this beacon? Oh come on, we got it. We got it. Yes, we capped the beacon. Man, that was relatively easy. And now we're cooking this guy like a sirloin steak. Yes. Melt. Melt. almost dead kind of emp'd okay all of our physical shields are blown off you know what we capped the beacon i'm so i'm kind of happy with this i actually want to try to save our north light ship for our dock so let's drop in the dock where should we drop it in um let's drop it in ah uh, let's go uh beacon d so our home beacon here so look 200 wait why are we missing a bit of health already that is weird so about 260,000 health. And this is obviously a close range build. We have the mace and the havoc. Okay, this is it. Oh no, this guy's gonna... Oh, you suck. You suck. You suck. You are a loser. With your camping bullet siren build. You smell like rotten eggs, bro. Boom, kill. We've gotten a kill with the dock. I don't know how many kills we're gonna get with this thing, but we got one. Oh yeah, you wanna come at me? You stupid harpy! Come on, man. What are you do? What are you gonna do? You probably don't know how to swim. Okay. Uh. Come on. Okay, he's got his ability. Oh, this is good. We're literally glitching out his aiming because he can't aim at us when we're right under him. Now he's dropping down. Last in triggered. His last stand is triggered. Oh! Boom! Double kill! We have a double kill. Mission success. I don't know what else we're going to be able to do, but we took down a Typhon and a Harpy. And that guy in the Harpy can absolutely eat a bag of ice cubes because he literally tried his stupid camping tactic and it didn't work and it backfired, bro. Back fired man maybe it wasn't the best idea to use the nuke amp because i don't think we're going to be able to get the nuke amp fully loaded so maybe it'd be better to run like a balance unit or a uh, a thermo nuke reactor or something oh our health is getting very low our health is getting extremely low this is the same guy that was in the harpy oh he's lagging out too very good he's lagging out very good you lagged out and took me out while i was in a dock you're a very skilled player. You don't suck at all. You don't eat cereal for dinner at all. Okay, here we go. No, no more messing around. We gotta kill this guy. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna work with our shotgun luchador. We're getting four capped right now, which is not good. We are getting straight up four capped. Oh. Come on. Oh, 
man. Okay, now we're gonna jump. His weapons don't do a huge amount of damage, but the target malfunction is super annoying, as we all know. Come on. He almost got him. Oh, he just... Oh, he jumped. Boom! Titan Slayer. Yes. Loser. We just use our North Light. I didn't even see how much health we healed up. Oh, this... We have lost a weapon. We're down a weapon. Oh, we got teammate support. Teammate support. We have a fat security guard luchador that came in here. Come on, man. What do you got? You guys can't kill me. I'm invincible. I'm getting healed by something right now. I think it might be someone's north light or something. I don't know what's going on, but we just got healed a big time. We just got healed a huge amount. And now we're back to like 750,000 HP. Actually, okay, we have a 5 cap. I don't know how we just got a 5 cap. It feels like a second ago we were losing all of our beacons. But now we're rolling. We're rolling in the Benjamins, as they say. Rolling. Double kill. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Triple kill. I think we have conquered. We have conquered humanity. We did it. We got a double kill with the dock. Those were two legit kills. That was the best I could hope for. We'll try one more game, but man, it's going to be tough. The dock is pretty fragile. 4.6 million damage for that game was pretty decent. Three beacons, not too bad. Let's go game two, dock holiday cowboy robot. Let's do it. Okay, uh, moon map. Um, let's drop the dock first this time. Because this is a smaller map, so you know, not as much open space as it as it has on Abyss. Because on Abyss you can kind of get shot or caught out in the open, but this map, more cover. More cover. I bet my teammates are like, is this guy tanking? Or is he reverse tanking? He's running terrible robots in Champion League. But then he's staying in Champion League. I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, see, that robot would absolutely shred us up. We do have drone shielding and our advanced repair unit, but we don't have a whole lot of defense. Can we get center beacon? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank... There you go. What a loser. These camping stupid harpies and sirens with their bendy bullets. The most brain-dead, no-skill build in the game. He's just going to sit at that 450 meter mark, teleport up, or use his ability, shoot, teleport back, shoot, teleport back, and keep doing that at a rinse and repeat. Like a no-brain onion. Oh, okay, he used his stealth. Man. I wish the dock would get buffed, but I don't think there's a chance that it's going to get buffed. Okay, there's a bit of damage, a little bit of damage. I really don't know how it would be buffed. It's just so old, and I don't think Sonic has any uh, reason for them to really buff it. I would if I was them, but I don't know. I mean, it was a cool idea at the time, because at the time, it was the only robot in the game that could run four medium weapons. There was no Spectre, there was no Typhon, there was no Leech. So this was the best thing there was, or most firepower, because you could unload four Orkins and it would be ridiculous. But now, obviously, there's way better four medium robots. It looks pretty awesome, though, still. It still looks pretty sweet. I mean, straight up, an easy buff for them to do would be, like, increase durability and then make it so there's no cooldown on switching the robots. That would be, like, the bare minimum buff. Okay, we're going in here. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. We got him. We got him. Yes, kill. We got him. We killed that Kepri. All right. We killed the Kepri. So yeah, just get rid of the cooldown for the ability. You don't need a cooldown. And maybe give it some kind of like resistance or something when you switch your ability. Because it's it needs something. Even for the lower leagues, I don't think this is a, a better option than like the Raven right now. Like, I don't even know what league... I'm an idiot and I'm using this in Champion League, but I don't know what league you would want to use this build in. Like, even if you're just starting. Like, I started that new account and players are already running, like, Ares and Ravens and stuff. Okay, we're down to 142,000 HP. 
Yeah, I should have run. I should have switched out the nuke amp. It would have been better to at least get some use out of like a last stand or maybe a uh, a balance unit or something. Oh, this guy. Come on. We got him. We can kill this guy. We can kill this guy. Get the kill. As long as he doesn't shoot us right now. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. He's gonna drop. You gotta drop eventually. Come on, you bag of potatoes. We got him. We got him. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Yes, double kill. We've achieved double kill status. We are a living legend. If you get a double kill with a doc, then you're pretty much a developer at this point. <laughs> I'm pretty much a living legend developer. I have reached god status. Okay, uh... Oh, we actually have a 5 cap again. Man, these two games, we've been getting 5 caps really... So I guess we're just gonna go straight... I'm gonna go straight at this guy and see what happens. Cucumber 2000! Cucumber 2000! We're getting some damage in. Okay. Oh, the game just ended as we died. I feel like our damage wasn't gonna be that good for this game, but we did get the double kill. Because, you know, we were, we were playing a bit more cautious, and it is a dock, so let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, 1 million two beacons? I mean, it actually wasn't that far off my teammates. All right, guys, that is the Doc Cowboy Robot in 2022 in Champion League. That build, I mean, it just, it's not realistic. I'm an idiot, and I tried it out, but it's not going to ever, like, break the meta. So, until next time, peace, chicken, tostito, Doritos.